There is a need for players in Africa's private and public sectors to start working together to center the continent in the global generative artificial intelligence dialogue. This was a key takeaway from a Microsoft Africa Research Institute MARI workshop on AI and the future of work in Africa, where a team of experts in the tech industry met. Speaking at the event, MARI director Jackie O'Neill emphasize the immense potential of AI to stimulate growth within the African region. A key way for us to ensure we're not left behind is first and foremost to contribute to the ongoing discussions at global levels, uh, at regional levels with a focus on our specific context and issues. And then we need to ensure that we are putting some uh, investments and resources behind initiatives that would help us take advantage of these current AI opportunities and also to pay attention to the risks because we sometimes have the tendency to think that innovations such as AI or other technological innovations could solve all of our challenges but it's important to also see where the risks may lie and to mitigate those appropriately. If we think about African culture, it tends to be there's a lot of collectivity, there's a lot of social aspects in that culture and yet a lot of generative AI is designed from a very individual perspective. So we can actually make better work futures for everybody in the world if we start thinking about how AI can support the social context and how we can center people's agency and how we center their humanity and how we make better futures for them. You know, one of the things we discussed is enabling people to be more creative. Or another example is, can we enable people in the village, young people in the village who currently have to leave and move to the city, could they just stay in the village and work in the global marketplace using generative AI? Marathon world record holder Kelvin Kiptu Kelvin 